Hi, my name is Tomasz and you're watching Casual DIY channel. In today's video I'll show you how I dry my wood um, to get it ready for resin casting or stabilizing in uh, cactus juice. So stay tuned and watch the video. So in this video we'll be talking about how to actually dry your wood but this is not uh, the drying method for a green wood and uh, that you just cut down in, in your backyard that will not actually work for this. Uh, so basically you need wood that's already pre-dried and obviously the more moisture you've got in these uh, pieces of wood that you want to dry the longer it will take and obviously the higher uh, chance for it to have some cracks in it. So basically I'm using a method um, that I've seen on Zach Higgins channel um, uh, to be absolutely honest with you, Zach Higgins, Casey Martin and obviously Pam Harris. These are three uh, absolutely fantastic makers on YouTube that I do encourage you to visit their YouTube channels. The links is down below to all of them because all the information um, that I currently possess is from those fantastic videos they produce and obviously my own experimentation. So um, how are we going to tackle drawing these pieces of wood. So the woods I will be drying today, I've got some poplar burl, if you can see it uh, looks absolutely fantastic. Obviously I've got some uh, maple burl as well with the fantastic features like that, um, and just a piece like this, um, they look absolutely stunning. And obviously all of them I will be um, later on stabilizing in cactus juice, hence I need to dry them first. Before we continue, we're actually going to talk about the process when we know when it's ready. So uh, basically, obviously, the thicker the piece, the longer it will take. And we are not talking just hours. We are talking 24 hours or even 48 hours, depending on the thickness of the wood that you're actually going to be using. So on the market, you can obviously buy the moisture readers that, um, you know, you put it to the wood and it will tell you how much moisture there is in the piece of wood. But most of the cases, they will not go down. They will not get low lower than four or five percent and we are looking for zero percent now to measure that what we're going to do this is a fantastic method that um, Zach Higgins had on his channel basically what we're going to do we're going to mark each individual piece I've already done that I've got eight pieces in total and then we're actually gonna weigh them so that's the best method to actually find out when the piece is ready, when there is no moisture. So that's what I'm going to do now. Later on in the video, and when um, these are actually fully dried, I'm just going to give you a couple of tips on how to store this wood if you're not going to be using it straight away. So basically, that wood is dry and you don't have to repeat this process or go through other means to actually get it um, again to the zero um, uh, percentage moisture levels. But so, we've got everything written down, all the weights. Um, of all the pieces. Now why are we going to do that? So basically when the pieces of wood will lose moisture, would lose water, they will lose weight and that will indicate when they are ready. So what am I actually using to dry this wood? Well basically a toaster oven. Um, it's only a small one hence as you can see I only can do small batches but for now for me that's absolutely fine. And talking about the temperature what should we set up? Well, basically, we need to set the temperature just slightly above boiling temperature for water, which is 100 degrees. So I'm going to try to set my oven to 105 degrees Celsius. To help me to establish the temperature in my oven, I've, um, I've bought some <laughs> basically uh, temperature readers for ovens, and um, I'm just going to whack them in and basically wait until I've got around 105 mark and then I'm gonna put the wood in. When the temperature is set, when I'm gonna put the wood in, I'm gonna leave it for about 12 hours a minimum. I'm gonna take the wood out and I'm again gonna weigh it and see what's the weight of all of them. Now, after that 12 hours, I'm gonna put the wood back in 
and basically wait another six hours. After those six hours, I'll check the weight again. After that, I'm gonna put it back in, and after two or three hours, I'm gonna take it out, and again, measure the weight of those. And at that point, I will see if the weight has not changed since the last reading, then basically the wood is bone dry. But if it's still losing weight, that means it's still not ready. Uh, I can imagine this larger block, it could take um, at least probably 36 hours, I think, something about that. So it may be quite a fairly long process of drying this wood. But if you want to have really good results when casting with resin or basically stabilizing it with cactus juice, uh, this is necessity to bring the wood uh, to basically zero moisture levels. And when we come back, I'm just going to show you um, a really nice, cool way of making sure that these pieces will not get the moisture from the air again and you will be able to use them straight away in your projects. So, um, well, for you, it will be a second for me at least two days. So, catch you in a bit. Right then, guys, so we're about 20 hours in of the drying process with my oven. And as you can see, it's a different oven. So, basically, after about six hours, when I left it overnight, and when I came in the morning about five-ish and um, the old oven I had about 150 degrees Celsius and so basically the thermostat went on it and regardless what temperature I was setting it was 150 or max 150 was the absolute minimum it didn't want to go below um, that temperature which as you know is way too hard so on some of the pieces I do have small cracks because obviously the moisture escaped too rapidly uh, that's fine I can deal with that they are going to be uh, casted in the resin anyway so to be fair that's probably going to add some cool features to it um, anyway so it just proves how important it is not to overdo it with the temperature but at the same time you have to remember if it's below 100 degrees that process of evaporating the moisture from the wood not really going to work so 105 degrees celsius is the really sweet spot leave it for a bit longer and, uh, and have beautiful wood with no cracks so as i said it's about 20 hours now i'm going to do another way test and see where we are with it Right, so I've, I've got all the weights now for all the pieces and again I'm going to whack them in the oven for another six hours. If any of the pieces will not change in weight, these will be ready um, to store. And as to be expected, the smaller pieces are now ready. So I've got three of those, three of the smaller pieces, the rest is still in the oven. To I'm going to probably check in in about three hours. But basically you understand how the process works. So it's not a couple of hours, it actually does take a while depending on basically how much moisture have you got in your wood block and how big is it because obviously if the larger it is the longer it will take um, for the moisture to actually escape from the core uh, of the of the piece of wood you've got and um, so yeah you have to consider uh, in your plans that actually it does take a while so well, the three pieces are now uh, cold i've let them cool off a bit so this method i believe is um, um, something that i've seen on zach higgins channel uh, i'll drop a link down below you can check it out but what we're gonna do all the three pieces we're gonna wrap in clean foil basically what we need to do we need to make sure that no moisture gets to those pieces um, when we're going to be storing it so when you're ready to actually use them and you don't have to put them in the oven again they are ready straight away ready to use do a couple of uh, layers now before i would um, use them for casting or before i consider stabilizing them with uh, cactus juice i would actually put them in the oven for i don't know maybe three four hours because as i say some of the resins react to moisture really bad and then you're gonna have uh, well outcome that you've not been looking for basically and the quality is not gonna be as great so i've wrapped all of them in clean foil two coats each and now <laughs> going one step further get yourself some zip bags from your local supermarkets 
Um, these work fantastically, so whack them in there, like so. But there's another step. I'm going to go one step forward with mine just to make sure I actually I don't have to put them in the oven um, when I want to use those. Basically what I'm going to be using is silica absorbing gels. So you can probably find these sachets in, uh, I don't know, when you're buying shoes in the shoe boxes or when you buy some medicine sometimes in the tubes. You can find one of these and actually you can buy them you can purchase them on the internet i usually order about a hundred of those and they you know they are very useful and they are making sure there's no moisture um actually affecting your wood so put a couple of um, um of those sachets make sure to seal the back correctly so there's no um, air no moisture getting inside and, uh, and there you go. This is the way I store my pieces after drying them in the oven. Because, you know, spending so much time and effort drying these, missing this point and actually not securing them from moisture would be just wasting time and wasting the electricity uh, that the um, oven needs to uh, use to actually run. That's, um, <laughs> it's a simple process really, but obviously it just takes time. And I wouldn't recommend using an oven that is in your house because some of the wood may actually smell and, um, and use a separate oven for it. And it's exactly the same thing when you're gonna be using cactus just to stabilize this. Do not use it in your home um, oven. Buy yourself a, um, a decent oven like this one. Um, the one I had obviously wasn't that great so I've invested and bought something a little bit dearer but um, yeah there you go guys if you enjoyed this video if you have learned something new uh, please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so yet drop me that like button down below if you've got any questions you know where the comment section is and I hope to see you on my next woodworking adventure till then take care